Jeff Wanderer from Snell Motors joins us this morning. Good morning, Jeffrey. Good morning. Good to have you in today. We're talking Cadillac today, the Cadillac CT6. CT6, yes. There's a lot of letters and numbers in the Cadillac yeah. lineup. So this is not the CTS. This is the CT6. Uh, this is not going to be your high volume, see tons of these vehicles on the road. This is going to be kind of the onesies, twosies, uh, the elite of the elite. Uh, this is going to have some options that no other vehicles will have in all of GM's lineup. It's it's a pretty unbelievable vehicle. So I just wanted to highlight maybe uh, five, six of the options that are pretty cool. And uh, so size-wise, just so you have an idea, this is going to be about eight inches longer than the CTS. So it's not... It's not the DeVille, it's not the DTS, it's not that, uh, you know, Grandpa Cruiser that just floats around the road. Now, granted, it does, but it's also a fun performance vehicle at the same same, same time. First thing I want to talk about is active rear steering. Yes, active rear steering. So what it does is it, it steers with the front and the rear wheels both, and it really gives you the feel of a smaller sedan, so it drives like a smaller vehicle. Uh, at low speeds, it'll turn the wheels in the opposite direction to the front wheels, uh, and you kind of think about that happening in your head. Okay, so if the front wheels turn <clears throat> left, the rear ones turn right, that's going to make you drive in a circle, right? Yeah. So it's going to make it super easy to park. And then at high speeds, it steers in the same direction as the front wheels, and that's kind of a performance thing. But you, you'll notice that you don't have to move the steering wheel nearly as much because mm. those rear wheels help steer. So large vehicle, drive small. Check. Automatic vehicle hold. Uh, this is going to be mainly for, like, uh, Traffic situations, a stop and go, it's meant to reduce fatigue during traffic with your legs, which is apparently a big deal for some people. Yeah. Um, when a vehicle comes to a complete stop, <clears throat> so you're in drive, you come to a complete stop, and then uh, once you are completely stopped, you let your foot off the brake, the vehicle is going to hold you in that position until you put your foot on the accelerator. So you're in stop and go traffic, you come to a complete stop for 30 seconds, you don't have to hold the brake, you just sit there, the vehicle holds itself, and there's a little light that comes on. Now... Apparently, this has maybe happened, or they thought it might happen, but if the person decides to, let's say, pull in their driveway, put their foot on the brake, let off because they're on their cell phone, get out of the vehicle, as soon as the door opens, it automatically puts on your parking brake, so you don't have to worry about the vehicle rolling into your uh, garage. Uh, yeah. Check. <clears throat> Cadillac Q touchpad. So, the Cadillac Q system on this is awesome. It's gigantic, um, but they made it so you don't have to reach all the way up by the screen. And they gave you a nice little touch pad right where your hand sits next to the shifter. You can click it. Uh, there's a back button. And then you can scroll. Um, if anybody's used like a MacBook uh, before, that little pad right there, you can uh, zoom in, zoom out, and scroll around with it and double click. And then you can use you know, two fingers for this action, left and right, and then it moves you to different pages. Well, it's going to do all of those things. You don't have to reach for the screen and do it. And once you become comfortable with it, I mean, it's unbelievable. Another thing uh, is enhanced night vision. And uh, it's about as cool as you think it is. It's pretty legit. So the vehicle is going to look about 100 yards in front of you, which is going to be further than headlights can see. So let's just think of this um, driving in the country deer situation. Infrared, it literally picks up body heat from animals and people. So in city, this also works as well. But heavy rains, fog, snow, think of that. Okay, so you have deer in the ditch in the corn. You obviously can't see it. It's in the corn. And you're driving through. This will pick up the heat from the deer's body, and it'll let you know on your driver information center that there is a deer in the ditch. So you'll obviously slow down, and you'll maybe see gallop on the road. But huge, huge prevention of running into anything like that, which is it's unbelievable to see this in person. Um, it's kind of like those... Uh, SEAL Team 6, no yeah. vision goggles, and yeah. they have like, yeah, it's like that in the car. It's unbelievable. That sounds cool. All right, uh, hands-free power trunk, because why not? So you walk up to the vehicle with all of your shopping bags, because you have a CT6. You probably get to go shopping a lot. Sure. <laughs> um, you just make the kicking motion. It opens your trunk. You throw your things in, and then you can push a button or make another kicking motion to shut the trunk, so you don't have to touch it in case it does get dirty every once in a while. Uh, massaging front seats, kind of cool. You know, those, that's been in vehicles before. How about massaging rear seats? That's an addition. So not only the front, but your passengers in the back seats have massaging seats. They can control the entire vehicle from the back as well when it comes to your infotainment system. And then it also has uh, rear seats that move up, down, forward, backwards, and they do recline. 
Um, so this kind of is painting a little more of a picture of what kind of vehicle this is. You have a rear camera mirror. So you have a rear view mirror in your vehicle that you look behind and you usually see if it's in a car. If you have people with you, you just see heads. You don't really see anything behind you. What this does is it takes your rear view mirror and it activates a camera on your trunk. And you can see 300% more of what's behind you because you're looking behind your vehicle, not through your vehicle and all the distractions that are inside of it. So awareness, safety, unbelievable. It's a little trippy when you're driving on the road with that camera because you can see so much. But you can just simply flip a switch and turn it back to a regular mirror if you want. Uh, surround vision, you got the bird's eye view. We've talked about this in the Escalade, but there's also a recorder in this vehicle. Um, it's a pretty vehicle, so we want to prevent any theft situations. So if anybody's tugging on the door handle or activates the uh, security system for any reason, it will record everything on all four cameras of the vehicle so they know who is pulling on the vehicle. And then uh, you can go into your vehicle and you can play back any recordings that were triggered right in the uh, information center on the radio. And the last thing is rear seat infotainment. So when you get in the vehicle on the back seat there, there's a 10-inch screen that comes right behind the headrest of the driver and the passenger. And, of course, this is high definition. Nice. Blu-ray player, two USBs, HDMI, wireless headphones, the whole works. Um, for those of you that use, like, Chromecast and Roku and the Amazon Fire Stick and all that that works with Wi-Fi, this vehicle is totally capable of all of that. So let's just say Chromecast, I think you plug into, like, the USB and the HDMI and uh, you run it through your Wi-Fi, and you can stream Netflix or whatever you want. You can do that in the back seat while getting a massage on your cooled seats, <laughs> reclining yeah. in a car. It's unbelievable. We have one in the showroom, and, uh, of course, we have the Platinum, so we have the top of the line of the top of the line. Um, just if you're interested, maybe in for service or something, just check it out. I mean, this is this is welcome to GM, welcome to Cadillac. This is the top of the top, and it's really fun just to take a look at. I am sitting here on the internet googling pictures of the CT6 from Cadillac while Jeff is talking, and uh, it's one of those vehicles when you look at it, you want to ride in the back seat of this yeah. car. Yeah, it just looks like a luxury. That's where the movie screen is the cockpit of a luxury airplane going on here. It looks like a beautiful vehicle. You said there's one inside. There's one inside, and you got to get there quick before TJ buys it. That, yeah, mm-hmm. right. Yep, I'm gonna grab a quick advance from the boss on my way out and go pick that up. <laughs> but you could go for a test drive in one of these today with Jeff. Stop on by and uh, check it out at Snell Motors. I'm guessing with all of those features, the air conditioning works downright pretty good too. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be a good day for that. So stop down to Snell Motors and take a ride in the Cadillac CT6 with Jeff Wandra today. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Wheels with Wandra from Snell Motors on Tuesdays in the 8 o'clock hour on Minnesota 93. <laughs> on Minnesota.